Welcome boys and girls to another episode of Let's Take It Apart. Today we're going to take apart a coffee pot. Oh wait, um, a telephone. So the first thing we're going to do is unplug the handset because we don't need that. And that will leave us with the body of the telephone. And if you notice, there are screws on the back, which is our first hint about what to do next. So, so the obvious approach is to take out the screws, which is what we're going to do. Now that all the screws are out, we need to see how the casing comes off. Sometimes it's hooked together fairly tightly. Let's see, now this looks like it'll open up. There we go. Here's the insides of the telephone. And we have, you notice, a couple of little plugs to take out. So we'll do that first and free the casing up. And these pieces just slide out. And this one is screwed in. Now here's an interesting phenomenon. Uh, little tiny screws. Let's go ahead and take them out. There we go. That's the power uh, in input. Alright, so the bottom casing is now completely removed. We can put this where we'll know where it is. And that leaves the electronics, the bottom of the circuit board, but the bottom of the circuit board isn't very attractive, so let's take a look at the top. To do that, we just take out a few more screws. And when all the screws are out, we can lift the circuit board off and see what's on the other side. And we have a couple of things here. The speaker, which is wired on. And here you can see the circuit board. Now this is a very old-fashioned design for a circuit board because almost all the components are discrete. Here's a little integrated circuit right here, and here's another one down here. But you'll notice all these discrete components. These blue guys are capacitors, these guys are all resistors, and these little black guys are transistors. You'd think that this would all be put into one circuit chip instead of having all these discrete components. And in a modern telephone, that's exactly how they are. Here's the speaker. I think I'll use that for another subwoofer. Here is the microphone for uh, hands-free speaking. And now let's take across, take apart this little part and see what the push buttons are like when you dial the phone on the other side. Those are the buttons. We'll just uh, unplug these wires here gently and remember where they go so we can plug them back in later on. And then we can get to this other component which we will now access by taking all the screws out. And so 12 screws later let's see what's underneath here. Usually if there's a lot of screws in something, you know something's going to fall apart when you get it taken apart completely. So let's find out if that's the case. Uh-oh, hear that noise? Oh, there we go. Hey, we could take this apart and mess somebody up by... Uh, moving the buttons around, couldn't we? Let's try well, here's one type of telephone. How do you like that? What you could do is take it apart and change them every day. 
Make sure people don't get into a rut. That's a problem with people. They're just in a rut. They think everything should be the same and dependable all the time. Whereas a surprise is sometimes good for people. So, anyway, that's one thing you can do. So, what else do we have here? Looks like that's about it for this telephone. There's a few more buttons. But you'll notice that it's all... Maybe we should take one of these off to see what it's like underneath. It's just an electrical connection. See this little... That's... That's a conductor. And when it touches the little electrical wiring there, it sends a pulse. Doot, 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 doot. Hear that? Hello? Oh, here. Anyway, well, thank you for joining us on another episode of Let's Take It Apart. I'll see you again next time.